In this tutorial, you'll see how to use conditional access policies to create IP lists and set conditions on whether to allow, deny, or allow with MFA for users accessing the JumpCloud user portal and connected applications. To get started, log into your administrator account at console.jumpcloud.com. Before creating the conditional access IP list policy, we must first create IP lists for the policy to act upon. To create an IP list, navigate to the conditional list menu and click on the green plus icon at the top left. A modal with configuration fields will appear. Enter in the name, description, and IP addresses or ranges. You can use either hyphens or CIDR notation for configuring address ranges. Click Save. To create the conditional access policy for IP allow list, navigate to the conditional policies menu in the left-hand nav. Then click on the green plus icon in the top left. A right-hand pane will slide out displaying the configuration options for the policy. Fill out the following, policy name, description, and policy status. Focusing on user assignments, you can either select all users or specific user groups. In our use case, I'm going to select a specific user group, Remote Workers, since they're going to be required to be on the VPN in order to access the user portal. Under Conditions, click on the Add Condition and select IP addresses. A new row will be created where you can select the IP address list you've created in the prior steps. To block Remote Workers not on the Remote Workers VPN, you can change the status to Not on List. Finally, for the action, you can then select Deny Access to the selected resources. To see this in action, the user Bob.Fay has an account in JumpCloud and is active. His macOS device also has the allowed VPN client installed. Currently, Bob is not logged into the VPN. Let's see what happens during the user portal authentication. We can see that he's denied access because of the conditional access policy we've just configured. Let's go ahead and connect through the VPN client and authenticate again. Bob can now access the user portal because he's on the allowed IP list and is a part of the remote workers user group. For more information on conditional access policies and configuring IP lists, check out JumpCloud's knowledge base articles for more information.